It was uh, in the game. We were excited and uh, made some big plays in that fourth quarter. Russ was also excited. Yeah, he's not out here on the field, uh, yeah. on the court, but you know, what type of impact did he have in your huddles? He better be cheering. He ain't got enough to do. <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, Russ is just uh, he's a leader, man. He's our leader, so uh, you know his communication and his voice matters to us. You know, so like I said, I'm just so proud of the guys how we played and defensively, you know, holding them under 100 points uh, after the first you know quarter they got uh, shows a lot about us. Speaking of pride. How much pride are you taking in the effort on the defensive end of the ball? Everything, everything, just as much as offensively. You know, I think that's the, that's going to be the factor of us getting to our goal. You know, as a team defense, and I can't be the guy um, that you know teams are going to go after. So just got to take pride in, uh, pride in it, guard, and uh, you know, make sure defensively we're on the same page. Lastly, you're up 2-0, but you're not going back to OKC. <laughs> right. So what does Game Three mean to you? It's the same thing, man. We got to come out with the same mindset. Uh, you know, they're not going to go away. They're a vet team, uh, leader by, leader by uh, Chris Paul. And uh, we got to just go out there from the beginning of the game and uh, defensively had that mindset locked in. You know, I think we didn't, we didn't shoot the ball well tonight, but defensively won us the game. Well, you shot it at a historic pace from three, but you still, and you still <laughs> got the win. Thanks, Jay.